Well, hello, Leo, and welcome to your forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. <laughs> I'll never get sick of saying that. This is a general reading, money, love, career, for the period beginning the 28th of December, 2020. Because this is a general reading, you may want to take a look at your moon sign forecast or the forecast for your rising sign. Okay, so let's get started. First, I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Lots of things going to happen for you guys in 2021. We just had the great conjunction. Uh, it, it was around the 20th or 21st of December, and that is really going to change things and reality and perception as we know it as we move out of the 200-year cycle of being bound to the earth and go and move into an air sign. There's already spirits in this room because the, the dog is going nuts. Absolutely crazy. All right. So let's get started. Thanks again for liking and subscribing so that YouTube can find my new channel. Really appreciate that. Spirits, stop bothering the dog. Thank you. <laughs> they like teasing the dog because they're going to get my attention. Okay, so if this is your first time, I do channel messages from the many spirits that I have in my space. Now, I'm also getting some of your spirits in, and like bothering the dog, they'll do whatever it takes to get my attention because they want me to pay attention and to communicate to you the messages that they have. Sometimes they curse, sometimes they smoke, sometimes they sing, sometimes they laugh, sometimes they try to touch me, sometimes they show me things I don't want to see, like people in their 50s having S-E-X. So, just so you know, you can't unsee some of those things. Anyway, spirits, fill the cards with your energy and tell us what we have for lovely Leo for the period beginning the 28th of December. Please. Thank you. All right. I do have a couple of singing spirits. And boy. All right. <laughs> all right. There's a message for somebody. This person is an old, is a relative that's passed. Funny. Very funny. Liked to, they played an instrument. They've got a really nice voice. Uh, they they play more than one they're playing more than one instrument for me right now, and they have a dreamy voice, male energy, uh, older, uh, flirty, funny, laughing, good natured. Uh, so I just want to wish you a happy New Year. Anyway, let's get okay. Thank you, sir. So let's get started. We've got the Ten of Rods in this first position. We got the King of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Coin. Somebody singing, Zippity doo da, zippity yay. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Okay, thanks. I don't know what era you're from. Are you from like 200 years ago or something? Um, all right, so you got the Page of Cups. Somebody's happy, or maybe they're trying to tell you that this is going to be a happy period. Let's find out. Oh, we have the nine of coins. Maybe this is going to be a happy period because it's about money, financial stability. Oh, we have the ten of cups. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So, oh my gosh. All right. Somebody's, okay. There's a message from somebody. Somebody, one of your, one of the people close to you just passed, passed away. They want you to tell, they want me to tell you that they're Okay. They can't explain exactly what's going on um, because they don't quite understand it yet, but they're not in pain uh, and they said something about they feel as light as a feather. Um, and I don't know, were you overweight before? Is that? They were overweight, okay? But apparently they feel light as a feather, so I guess they had a problem walking uh, or getting around uh, to, at the end of... I guess the part, the last part of their life, and um, they're, they're like, that's not an issue anymore. So they want you to know they love you. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Uh, all right, so we've got this Ten of Wands. The beginning of this period, Leo, you've got 
for some of you, you feel like you're carrying too much, too much weight on your shoulders. Now you're either doing too much work or you just feel the weight of the world is on your shoulders right now and you have too much stress. Maybe because you have a financial situation going on. Well, and, and so I think that part of it may have to do with this reverse king of pentacles or king of coins. Okay, the king of coins, if it was upright, is about um, improvements in finances. But at the beginning of this period, it's more like there is some issue with finance. You've also been asked, someone, one of the guides is telling me, one of the, somebody else, it's not one of my spirits, he's saying, be careful of the, of the deal, the financial, double check all the documents in that financial agreement, okay? Make sure that you're not getting ripped off. There's a, you're dealing with a greedy and untrustworthy person on the other end of that, that deal, okay? So just make sure they don't screw you over. All right, read everything 10 times. Okay, so as you're moving forward, you've got the seven of coins. And the, se the, the, the seven of coins is about, um, it's about keeping your, your focus, keeping your focus to move forward. You know, you get, you're gaining progress in whatever it is that you've got on your plate. Uh, some of you are working on, uh, uh, somebody's, okay, so, Somebody's working on a home improvement project. So I'm seeing some, one of your guys is showing me this hammer and, and a project that you're working on. Some of you are working on your own business in a construction environment. You're creating things and helping people with improvements to their, to their uh, either their residential or commercial space. Uh, maybe you're in a, a contractor of some sort, a roofing contractor, a carpenter, installation of, of kitchen cabinets, I see. Um, so all I see, we see that moving forward. Um, we see new and uh, somebody's starting a new business that deals with creative uh, creativity, uh, a creative kind of endeavor. Uh, somebody's also opening up a food truck. Well, good for you. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of new businesses being started as we get into the beginning of, of 2021. Uh, and, and it looks like these businesses will, provide you with fruit okay what I'm seeing is we got the page of cups and somebody's handing me a fruit basket so they will bear fruit um, this 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 is the bearer of good news you know you've got you've got the fish you've got um, your cup is is is, is filled with uh, abundance here okay uh, creativity uh, so there's a there's a lot of creativity going on here as well. There's um, okay somebody <laughs> someone else's guide is here and they're saying lighten the f up, lighten the f up. I can't say the f word, but you know what I'm talking about. Lighten up already. So I don't know who's who's that is for, but you know in general sometimes Leo can be a little bit too serious. Well, it's time to just lighten up and have fun because when you are in joy, I N in joy, enjoying in joy what you're doing, follow your passion, and that's when the money comes. Speaking of money, let's talk about money because we've got the necklace of coins here, as I like to call her, the nine of coins or the nine of pentacles, depending on which deck you're using. And the nine is all about money, finance, financial security. It's about finding that stability so you can feel safe as you continue forward. Now, it's married to, so to speak, the ten of cups. Now, the ten of cups is, there's a ton of things that the ten of cups is about, but it is about financially, it is a wonderful indicator of prosperity, okay, which comes to you as a result of a well-deserved achievement. You're working hard, you're keeping your focus, and you get the reward, okay? Now, for those of you looking for love and harmony and peace in your life, especially peace, the Ten of Cups rings in an era of peace and harmony into your existence as well, okay? So I... Okay, one somebody's spirits going here. 
Work smarter, not harder. You get me? Work smarter, not harder. You don't have to churn and burn and, and lose sleep over this. Just uh, think, of a, think of a better way to present your, your ideas and, and, and the inspiration will come. Take that first step into action here, okay? All right, what else do we have? All right, we have the nine of rods. So the nine of rods is about strength. You can do this. You got this, Leo. Hello. Wake up and smell the victory. Look at this. Money, financial security, and your own, and your own strength being realized. So for those of you who, who are having a problem in that sacral chakra, that's the chakra three inches above your belly button, your power center, your center for strength, your self-esteem, Get out of your own way, baby, because you are strong. You are mighty. You are the lion. Hello. Own it. Claim it. Throw a comment below to claim this. Hello. Wake up. And we have the celebration card. For Pete's sake, it doesn't get better than this. This is about success. This is about celebrations. For those of you also who are looking for relationships, this is about calling in love and about celebrations in the in committed relationships. But I keep seeing money, okay? Um, now, all right, one more. And I never usually pull this much cards, but as we're coming into 2021, I want to give you a little look ahead in 2021. Okay. <laughs> I love it. The three of wands is about good fortune, success, entrepreneurial projects. Okay, Leo, I am glad my moon is in Leo because I get to feel this myself and I'm feeling pretty good about this reading. I see money, I see success, I see opportunity coming in and I see an opportunity for me to understand how to be smarter, work smarter, not harder. And I know who this little greedy bastard is in my, in, in, in my personal <laughs> existence. <laughs> So I'm going to take care of that one, but quick. All right, so let's see what the universe pulled as far as the card for, for us here. Okay, it is King Solomon. Priorities. Okay, it's all about priorities. Prioritize, that's that whole smarter, not harder. Prioritize what you got to do next, Leo. The money's there if you want it. For those of you who are sitting on the fence about starting that new business, I see somebody's guide is in here talking about something with the legal, paralegal. Uh, somebody's getting into the marijuana business somehow. Somebody else is, I mean, there's so many people in here. It's ridiculous. That's why the dog was going crazy earlier. Um, and thanks, guys, for not bothering the dog again. Uh, somebody's okay somebody's okay okay somebody's guide is in there one of you that is adding this video is doing something with theater uh and of course a lot of theaters are not open um they want you to just know that do whatever you have to do in the interim the theater will be back faster than you can believe and they're going to be sold out for years to come because people are starved for entertainment. So uh, just make sure you keep up your, whatever that routine is that people do when they're in the theater, whether it's vocal exercises if you're a singer or dance and exercises if you're one of those people, whatever it is, keep that line up because once things open, everything's going to be open. You're going to be in demand and you're going to be able to cash in on that because, you know, you know, the whole rule of supply and demand, okay? So there'll be a huge demand because everybody's going to open at once. And the supply is not going to be as easy to find as these Broadway and off-Broadway and traveling uh, venues think it is. So keep your body in tune, keep your voice box in tune or whatever it is that you normally would do. And when that call comes... It's not going to come in January, but they actually, they might start thinking about this 
and start planning and thinking about this in January. And they might hire people back. I'm getting information from Spirit. They might start thinking about hiring people back on for whatever they do, rehearse for so a month or two before. And so that might be January, February, where they start thinking about the planning of that. And then they're going to have to start. They know it's going to be a process because they're not only they have to plan it, they have to um, uh, look at, put the calls out and do whatever it is they do. And then they have to get people in to start um, uh, practicing or rehearsing. When they do that, they will be setting you guys up in a probably in a stay in this place for a time kind of quarantine and give you all the vaccines until um, the, a lot more vaccines are, are, are distributed. But I think that's what's going to happen based on what I'm being shown by some of these guides coming in for you guys. All right. Hope that helps you. Have a very happy new year. If you want to claim the video, throw a comment below. If you want me to connect with your energy, sometimes I have additional personal messages for you. Throw a comment below. Uh, and thanks again for liking and subscribing so YouTube can find my channel because I'm new. Well, new to YouTube. All right. Take care. Have a great one.